check out what I just built. So basically this thing is a giant underwater thruster. It's powered by a big RC brushless motor. I used it in a previous longboard project, so it's really powerful. If it can power me 30 miles an hour on flat ground, I'm sure it can go pretty fast underwater. The entire housing is all 3D printed. Got a big propeller in the back. Now let's take a closer look at electronics up top. The three wires from the motor go up and feed into this waterproof scuba diving box and go into this ESC, 120 amps, 6S, this is for RC boats usually. And that's powered by two 5,000 milliamp hour uh, 3S LiPos, which are tied together in series so you get 6S. The thing is controlled by a servo tester, which is kind of sketchy because I can't actually control this thing while I'm underwater. I have to open it up, set a speed on this, go underwater, hope it works, hope nothing bad happens, then either turn it off above the water or increase the speed more and go back under again. So hopefully nothing goes wrong. I'm also not worried about these ports leaking or had an issue with them electroplating before so they'd like make bubbles and corrode and stuff which isn't good. I also have a GoPro to film a lot of this underwater so hopefully you guys can see some stuff. So let's go try it outside and hope everything works well. Okay, all suited up. Time to start it. Okay, the motor's prime. Let's start with... <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> okay, let's do full speed now. <laughs> See if it can hold up. was that the propeller was spinning on the shaft so I tightened it now let's try to hopefully fix it. So let's try it again not full speed maybe like a little faster than the first time though. One sixty really well. I was going pretty fast. It can still go faster. The good news is the ESC is just a tad bit warm. Batteries are warm and all. There's no water in here yet, which is awesome. So let's see if it can take full speed.
impressed that was going pretty fast this motor can still max out I think double the voltage it's up to 12 s it can do it's a 6s it's technically go twice as fast but the propeller is going to spin a lot faster so it might not work as well it might overheat faster and stall and stuff but I want to do another one of these with two of these guys and a whole entire board with like bins or something on it so stay tuned soon or not it might take a while but this isn't going anywhere it's going to get way cooler thanks for watching guys